Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about something that I found called Liquid. I had heard about it before. It's actually made by the exact same people, Blockstream, who created the Lightning Network, but for some reason we don't hear as much about Liquid, um, which is kind of weird because when I tell you exactly what it is and I read more of the other stories, um, it seems like something that should definitely be in the spotlight because of what it is and exactly what it's going to do for um, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies completely all together. So uh, to read exactly from Blockstream, so this is the information from them. <clears throat> it says, what is Liquid? Liquid is an implementation of a federated sidechain, a private blockchain with different features, capabilities and benefits than the main Bitcoin blockchain. The Liquid Network was built specifically to address the particular needs of exchanges and enables the rapid, confidential, and secure transfer of funds between participants, providing a solution to the inherent problem of delayed transaction finality on the Bitcoin network. Liquid sidechain is built on top of the Elements code base and uses a Blockstream Strong Federation technology to support the one-to-one -one exchange of Bitcoin between chains. Some of the benefits of Liquid are faster trading, enhanced efficiency, better privacy and superb reliability. Uh, but further down, um, who benefits from Liquid? It says Liquid benefits participating Bitcoin exchanges and Bitcoin businesses, as well as their customers, which I'll get into in a second. Why use a side chain as opposed to using the Bitcoin blockchain itself? This has been a discussion for quite some time. People keep saying, why not simply make Bitcoin's blockchain a lot quicker or upgrade it like the other forks have done? And their answer is the Bitcoin blockchain excels at offering the permissionless, trustless and censorship resistant transfer value. However, achieving those means comes at the expense of a deterministic transaction flow and expense of mining. A side chain allows a different set of trade offs that allow privacy and rapid finality of asset transfer at the expense of being a permissioned network and trust of the functionaries. Extending the Bitcoin protocol using a side chain allows the main chain itself to remain secure, specialized and robust whilst it underlying while its underlying properties underpin the smooth operation of the side chain. Whereas Bitcoin is secured by proof of work, assets on the liquid blockchain are secured by a strong federation of trusted functionaries. This allows transactions on liquid to reach a state of finality faster and more reliably than those on the Bitcoin blockchain. Last part of this that's actually pretty important is what are the main differences between Liquid and Lightning? This is what I'm kind of saying. We hear so much or have heard so much about the Lightning Network and the fact that we have heard almost nothing about Liquid is um, kind of interesting. So it says the Liquid side chain is purpose built to cater for the needs of exchanges, brokers and traders, enabling the rapid, secure and confidential transfer of large amounts of Bitcoin between participants. The use of a blockchain allows for transfers to be made that they are not bound by such things as a single user channel capacity. The transaction finality is assumed once a transaction is issued within a block and there is no risk of chain reorganization due to the process of strong federation block signing. Transactions are therefore not subject to delay due to the lack of cooperation of other parties. Funds in the sidechain can be increased by member exchanges pegging more Bitcoin into the sidechain. The Lightning Network is designed to enable the near instant transfer of small or micro value payments between link channels, members, and the merchants. Transactions are limited in amount to channel capacity, specifically the capacity of the small chain and the hops from sender to receiver. This means that there are cases where you may wish to send Bitcoin through Lightning and a new channel would need to be created. This would require a new on-chain transaction in the Bitcoin network. To reduce the risk of monetary losses, the current maximum capacity is currently limited by the protocol to around 0.168 Bitcoin. Transfers on the Lightning Network can also experience delays if a payment must route through parties that are not online, resulting in the potential need to open a new channel in order to route around them. So this actually comes directly from the people who created the Lightning Network. So it seems the way that I kind of get it is that Lightning is made for uh, when they talk about Bitcoin being used in the future or being kind of like a mainstream thing that we can actually use the, t the topic that always comes up is being able to buy a cup of coffee is that you will be able to use the lightning network for that for these small purchases going back and forth because you need to be able to if you have a coin that is going to take over the world you need something that is able to 
uh, where you can buy f things for 14 cents, 25 cents. I don't know what actually costs 14 cents, but you kind of get the point that I'm kind of make. Um, and liquid seems to be for um, larger transfers that will be going through exchanges, brokers and traders on a cryptocurrency exchanges. This is kind of uh, the way that they explain it or that I got it at least. So this is all significant because um, this news came out yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and not a lot of people are really talking about it. Maybe it's because I see more significance in it than uh, maybe everyone just kind of skipped over it. Or maybe it's just not as important as I'm actually thinking that it is. Uh, but this is something, without further ado, I'll just actually read it. Blockchain startup Blockstream announced a new creation, a new custom token creation platform on Monday. The firm has officially launched the issued assets or IA program on its Bitcoin backed liquid sidechain, allowing users to create their own tokenized assets. According to a press release, these tokens can represent any source of financial instrument, including fiat currency, crypto assets or attested assets such as gold coins, as well as more novel types. Users can also adopt confidential assets to enable private transactions between blockchain assets, ensuring only the parties involved in a transaction will know the asset type and value being traded. Do you see where I'm kind of going with this? Moreover, users can conduct atomic swaps between Bitcoin and issued assets that include altcoins, meaning that Bitcoin can be exchanged for an asset in a single transaction without using intermediaries. Finalizing a transaction takes less than two minutes, the startup said. Blockstream previewed the tool at Coindesk Consensus 2018 conference in New York, demonstrating how the liquid platform could be used to issue five different types of issued assets representing physical goods. In the demonstration, these assets include shirts and hoodies, and these tokens were randomly sent to the attendees' paper wallets. Each paper wallet had a public key, and the owners were able to redeem the tokens for each asset it contained. After the physical gift was redeemed, the digital asset was then destroyed as, you know, you can't have two of them at the exact same time. You can't have a gold coin on the, uh, the piece of paper as well as having it in your hand. So what kind of strikes me as very odd for all of this is that um, if a company is working to achieve privacy on the Bitcoin network or rather through a side chain, um, and you're actually able to um, tokenize other altcoins as well and have them issued or be able to swap between them immediately through Bitcoin, you would have assumed that would have made a bit larger news. Like I said, maybe I'm blowing this out of proportion. Um, and I read some other websites and they were talking about how like this is literally game changing. But I noticed um, wasn't a lot of news about this. And even on this website, I had to kind of uh, dig a bit further to actually find information about this, so actually, actually find a... Um, an article about it. So when I looked around a bit more, um, the only information that I could find anywhere about this actually launching was from an article from Blockstream that appeared on March 13th. They said that they expected the conclusion of the Liquid Beta program to end and for the product to be released in May 2018. Uh, I have I typed in and tried to look for May 2018 Liquid release. Couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything for June as well. Let me know in the comment section below if this is actually already released. I have not heard anything about this. I also saw something else from another article in December of 2017 talking about that Liquid would be released in summer of 2018. Um, and as of yet, I have not seen anything. And I feel like this should be making a, uh, a bigger splash than uh, this is the actual article of them actually talking about it. Um... Lightning Network is constantly in the news, but the fact that you would be able to digitize everything on the bit on the Bitcoin sidechain and also be able to digitize other altcoins and swap between them through Liquid, I feel like that is pretty game changing, and that's kind of the the thing that you need for Bitcoin to be like the only dominant uh, coin, unless I'm kind of thinking of something else. And this is to have like a little diagram of exactly how the blockchain looks and what all the other side chains that are being pegged to it would also look like. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I said, I don't see a major amount of hype around this, but it's kind of weird because they're the same exact company that's creating the Lightning Network and Lightning Network kind of gets all this hype constantly back and forth, especially if this is going to be used by exchanges. Um, if you're able to, unless I read or you heard all of that wrong, swap between the coins privately through the exchanges that are also going to be using liquid i tried looking for a um 
a list of liquid participants and or partners like uh, exchanges that are going to be using liquid and i actually couldn't find anything even when i'm not going to click through their entire website if you get a chance go to blockstream.com and look through it yourself there's very little information uh, especially for the company that created liquid and also uh the lightning network uh there's barely any, any information about them and i tried looking for partners as well on their website and i think they had companies who funded them around 2014 2015 that was the last time it was kind of uh updated anyway uh just a little quick video if you will about all of this that's happening if we get more news about liquid i obviously will definitely be talking about it because it seems quite interesting that you'd be able we've been talking about digitizing assets for quite some time um when i listened to podcasts and they were talking about the digitization of assets they said we don't think this is going to happen for you know possibly five to ten years once we finally get the technology down uh but the fact that it's already able to be done seems like this should be covered by everyone or everyone should definitely be talking about this because this could in essence make bitcoin the uh the coin uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, like I said, it's just me. Maybe I'm just rambling on. All right, everyone, <laughs> that's going to do it for this video. Um, please have a look for yourself. Like I always say, do your own research. Don't just listen to me. Actually go to Blockstream yourself. Read about them as well. Um, kind of interesting exactly what they're doing. Um, and I feel like Liquid at least should be in the news a bit more. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are having a great day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are, wherever you might be. Thank you once again for watching. And I will talk to you all soon. See you.